Hi, this is Ronald Johnson, your life coach, mentor coach. And what I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. And this is Gloria, your life coach. I help those who are feeling stuck, struggling with difficulties such as self-doubt, inner judgment, lack of confidence, life transitions, and taking steps forward. And welcome to Life's A Shuffle podcast. Now, you may wonder why it's called Life's A Shuffle. And the reason why we came up with this title was that life is really shuffling. And it doesn't matter where you come from, your background, what age you are, you're shuffling multiple things in life. And the best thing to know in life is everybody faces your struggles and everybody faces what you're going through. But there's hope in learning something about that. So when our guests share their journey, the hope is you learn something in that journey so yourself can navigate the struggles you face, the low self-esteem, the self-confidence. And that's why we call podcast Life's a Shuffle. And throughout this podcast, we share our personal overcoming stories, as well as our guests who shares their personal journey in overcoming their personal struggles. Life's a Shuffle podcast is here to connect like-minded individuals. And thank you for listening to Life's a Shuffle podcast. Hi, this is Gloria, Mindful Coach, and welcome to another episode of Life's a Shuffle. Hi, this is Ronald Johnson, a mindfulness coach, and welcome to another episode of Life's a Shuffle. And today, we're going to change our name. It's going to be from Freestyle Thursday to just Freestyle Raw. And that's a W. Ah. Exactly. So not W. Capital R, capital A, capital W. Raw. It's like a tiger, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sitting out in my office right now, and uh, being northeast, it's snowing. And I, I shoved like five inches of snow this morning. Being from California, you don't have a sh- snow shovel. You have a shovel for your backyard, if you have a backyard, but no shovel for snow. And I shoveled our driveway. I shoveled a private road. Uh, I was at it. I was like, man, this is great cardio this morning. So I was able to get out there and get that shoveling done. Um, if it snows like this all the time, I'm going to be smart and buy one of those, those uh, battery-operated or gas-operated um I guess augers or snow shovels, whatever they call it, where it blows the snow around, I buy one of those because, trust me, having snow pants, a jacket, a beanie, I have my headlamp. I shot a video of that early before I dropped on the podcast, so you see, I'm still covered in snow, and uh, yeah, it was it was it was a different opportunity. It got me a lot. To, you know what's good about that is that shoveling snow in a more suburban America has roof of trees. So it's really good to see the deers. It's really good to see the houses and it's connect with nature because there's a silence that snow has. I would not want to be in a big city trying to snow with snow because I was slush. It gets muddy out here. It's still kind of fresh. You know, you can almost eat if you want to. So that was a great experience for me. What about you, what's going on with you? Well, we have rain. So it's raining here. Oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> it's rainy season. Yeah. And, I don't know what's going on with the weather, but I've just been catching myself like sneezing a lot lately. And it's so crazy. It bothers me because, you know, you have a mask on, you're wearing the mask and then you you feel the sneeze coming out. And it's like, what do I do? do I take out the mask and sneeze. You know, it's it's, it's just been an experience and I just laugh myself. Um, I, I just sometimes I, I just have to let it out. So I'm thinking, God, is this allergies? What's going on? So, yeah, I think it's that for me, I think it's that time of the year. And I just, I don't know what's happening. I think my body's going through some changes too. I think it's this, you you did your, you talked about your manhood last time. I'm talking about my womanhood this time. <laughs> okay. So let it out. I let mine out. I didn't hold back at all. <laughs> no, I think um, that, you know what? I'm self-diagnosing myself right now, but I, I did contact my doctor about um, certain issues that I was, you know, concerned about, which Obviously, it wasn't really much of a concern. I was just over, maybe I was overreacting. But, you know, sometimes it's like uh, someone has suggested to me because I have a, a man doctor, right? And and there's all these females I was talking to about, you know, I think my body's going through changes. And it's what we call, in, in women, we call this perimenopausal. So in women in there, and I think it starts late 30s to until you hit menopause and that could be up to like 50 years old. So this, this is like a, what we call like a roller coaster ride of our lives. 
it, it goes up and down, up and down. We don't know what's happening with our body. We don't know how we're feeling sometimes. We don't know why we're irritated today. And then the next the next minute where we're feeling okay. And then later on, we're feeling depressed. And then the next day, oh, I'm perfectly fine. There, it's, it just changes. And there could be days where I'm feeling really ugly today. I'm not feeling myself. Then the next day could be, I'm feeling myself today. I'm feeling good. <laughs> it's just, I'm <laughs> telling you, you're, <laughs> you're hearing a lot of whining here because it's, it, damn, it's been freaking crazy for me this past, I would say a couple of weeks or maybe like about a month. Now. I'm like, what the heck? And I'm just going to say it out there. I don't care. I've been feeling constipated. <laughs> I would say, what the fuck is that? <laughs> hold on, a jack of all trades, but a master of none. So you're mastering all these different trades. <laughs> Sorry, jack of all these different trades, but you're mastering not one. <laughs> I, you, you know, it, it's it's, you know, it. I, I gotta say this, you know, I didn't up until some more information became known. So you know. I don't take birth control, right? I'm a, I'm a man, and I know women take birth control. So I didn't know, right? Which I did my research. I know sometimes it does, but I guess all depending on birth control you take too can secrete, um, can either increase or decrease your estrogen levels. So that can throw your hormones off out of whack, where your body doesn't produce any estrogen or produces too much. Next, you know, you're like, what's going on in my body? I have hot flashes. Uh, my hormones are up and down. I feel this way. I feel that way. We don't know. But now you've been constipated. So, I mean, <laughs> what's going on? I don't freaking know. And then and um, and then I, I, I went through um, where I was just like, God, I'm losing hair. I'm losing so much hair. And it was driving me nuts. And then I'm thinking, oh, my God, I have cancer. But, you know, I o- overreacted on that note, on that side of that part of it. And I remember I emailed my doctor and he my, I love my doctor. He's just, every time I he hears stuff from me like this, he just, he puts, a, he has a smile on his face or he laugh, right? Because he knows how I am. And we just kind of laugh about it. And he's just like, yeah, you know, this is just nothing to be concerned about because I did a blood test and, you know, it could just, it could be so many things and a lot of things. And, and yeah, you know, when you talk about those birth control also, that has, um, some of them, or well, it depends on what it is that you take. It has hormones also, so can it, it can also help balance your hormones. But it, and then it's funny because then I have girlfriends who I talk to who we're all about pretty much the same age and we go through this stage all the time. And it could be, I think we're all in the same cycle. So then, you know, we start feeling it at the same time when we start talking. Oh my God, we're just, we're just like a hot mess. And I told my, um, my other friend who is a guy and he, I remember he was saying, and he was laughing. He said, I'm just so glad I'm not a female. <laughs> I said, yeah, you don't want to, I, I was telling him, you don't want to be around women when they're feeling this way because boy, you're just not going to be good at all. You know what? I, I think it's a, it's a learning experience. Um, I was reading this book called The Bollage Belief with uh, Bruce Tipton, I think the last name is. I can get that wrong, but it's Bruce's first name for sure. And I wonder how much of what you're going through has to do with your environment. It could be a part of it too. It could be a part of the environment. It's it's a lot of, it's a mixture of everything. Like my body could be going through changes, right? Uh, that I don't doubt that. Remember I told you it's a second stage of um, puberty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. So when you go through that stage, you know, your body's going through a lot of changes and then your environment also may have something to do to it or add on to, you know, how you could be feeling that day or, you know, the next day or whenever. I mean, I've and I've just been so tired, you know, like sometimes I'm like, God, I swear I had enough sleep. Why am I so tired? And then I find myself like I need, you know, getting like coffee and I want like really strong coffee because I want to be awake but that coffee will only you know last me for I don't know it's just for a minute I have so much energy and then I just go down Ooh, that sucks no I had that I was going through that kind of mess two weeks ago um I was like low energy 
and I, my manhood had an issue, right? I don't know if it got any to jump start or what, but <laughs> low energy, didn't know what's going on, you know, stomach's messed up, got to go to the bathroom, you know, what's happening? You're frustrated, you're upset. I sent my doctor like a long two bear grab, just, you know, venting about my frustrations and, you know, I want to, I'm going to do something different. And, you know, she just says, well, just, just be patient. It'll work out. And it, it worked out. And actually, I feel better now than I did when I first started medication. After getting my diagnosis, I feel much better now. My energy is returning. And I have something to look forward to. Um, and I think that's what really helped me is that now I'm challenging myself of uh, having commitments. So I'm looking forward to sticking to my commitment. Like I think I told you all before our podcast about shooting a video every day for the next seven days. And if I can do that, then I'm going to do you know, for 23 days, it makes a total of 30 days. And I'm looking forward to that. And I, I don't know what it is. I, I just don't know. Um, you know, I did I ran all the tests. I, I did the physical test. I did the urine test. I did the ultrasound, my testicles. They can't explain the reason why. So, <laughs> you know, a, a doctor's job is to basically process elimination. Okay, we'll try X pill. If that works, great. If it doesn't, okay, we try something else. That's it. They, they can't, unless it's something specific, like specific in case that you had a tumor in your testicles. And now we have to go for a biopsy to test something specific, but more or less it's this, okay, we think you might have this. Let's give these pills and see how you feel. Let me know. Keep me updated kind of thing. And, and that's where we stand. And uh, my energy is returning. I'm back for, for a couple of weeks there. I wasn't even reading my book anymore at four or four thirty in the morning. I stopped reading my book. I was now I'm back doing it again. So, I mean, you weren't Andrew, yourself for a moment. I wasn't. I wasn't myself, and I was very, very frustrated. So I can only imagine what you're going through with all these different changes of highs <laughs> and lows, and stomachs messed up. And uh, <laughs> did you take something or what? I, you know what? You know what? What's bothering me the most? So everything else, I think I can handle. Like I'm okay um, because I'm able to. I'm able to, you know, just sit there or I'm able to shift. And I know if if I need to be alone and just watch TV by myself or whatever, I'm able to do that. I know that when I'm feeling down, I, I recognize it and I feel it. You know, I'm not questioning myself like what's happening to me. But when it's like all at the same time, all at once, I'm like, damn, I hate this changes, right? Because I feel it. But uh, the most part that really has been bothering me is a freaking constipation <laughs> it's just it just doesn't feel normal for me but um so I'm trying you know different stuff and and you know we were talking earlier about this you're right it could be the change in my diet it could be it, it maybe I'm stressed it could be a lot of other stuff and maybe my my activities uh I've slowed down a little bit maybe I don't know but you know what I did um something that made me kind of happy and um put a light on put a light on me a little bit on Friday was um, I have one of my student, right? So I gave out um, in, in one of my classes, I, I gave out candies to my students. I had like little goodie bags with them, right? For them. And these kids, they know that coach Gloria loves chocolates. I'm all about chocolates, right? And when so I got a lot of love <laughs> boxes of chocolates and even got some, um, what do they give me? I had a couple that, um, a couple of kids that gave me um, those Girl Scout cookies, mm -hmm. and I was just like, "Oh my god, you guys can't!" They wait shrunk to in eat. size now. I can tell you that they did. It's <laughs> yeah. smaller. The box is a lot smaller, and I think the price. I think the price is the same. Um, but I was telling them, oh, "I can't wait to to eat this right and sit in my car." And one of the kids told me, and I told them, "But I need to cut down on my sugar. I've noticed I've been eating. I have noticed too at the same time um, that I've been eating." chocolates like i felt like an a, an addict with with all this like valentine's chocolates is being out there i mean i bought bags of like a couple of bags of chocolates for the kids and i had to go back to the store and buy before friday because i finished it damn so well you know i didn't finish all in one setting but you know i bought it a few days before friday and then because it's in the car and in between classes or sometimes i'm you know, I need, I'm going to go get food or something or in, while I'm driving home, I'm eating them. <laughs> so next thing I know, oh my God, I finished the bag. So this kid, one of the, my students told me that, did you know chocolate's good for you? It helps with your emotions. That's what Dr. Pat said. Chocolate is good for women. 
Yes. On how much chocolate? <laughs> no, I know, I know. It it doesn't say how much chocolate, but I was like, you know what? You're right. I I remember. Um, I heard about that too, and I wasn't like I, I totally forgot about that. But he goes, look it up, look it up. So you know, him and I, I, I was next to him, and I googled it up, and um, and I was reading it to him. I said, you're right, and I think that's why I told him. That's what that makes a lot of sense. I think to make myself feel better, and why I, you know, sometimes I feel better, I shove chocolates in my mouth. It releases a lot of dopamine. So yeah, good. but I'm so happy. Like you should see me when I'm eating this chocolate. I'm like savoring it. I feel like I'm in heaven. It's melting in my mouth. You should put a picture on social media. <laughs> I <laughs> am actually. After what he told me, I said I'm gonna have to. I told him you just gave me a, bright, a great idea. And he's like, what is it? And I told him, I'm going to be posting something with, you know, about chocolates on this. Because, you know, some people, they don't know that. Some people are saying, you know, you shouldn't be eating too much of that because, yeah, I'm sure there's a limit of how much you should really eat a day. And I, I don't set limits for myself because, you know what? I don't care if it makes me feel good, it makes me feel good. That's what it does. It's, it's giving that natural high. I mean, I eat chocolate one after the other. It's like me. I'm thinking about warm Chocolate chip cookies. I mean, I'm not talking about store brought. They're crappy. I'm talking about homemade from a bakery shop. Chocolate chip cookies fresh out the oven. Man, I can just kill those. I can kill the whole platter or the dozen, whatever it's called. I can just kill it. Yeah. I mean, it just, it makes you, it just gives you a, a, a happy feeling. And that's what, you know, and I'm thinking, why didn't, why wasn't I thinking about that before? That makes a lot of sense. So that's the whole idea is you know what? What you're saying right now, after you ate your chocolate, you feel so much better. So for those out there, if it's something that's not dangerous and something that promotes health <laughs> and increases your dopamine, have at it. Like my RC car, I'm telling you, I mean, look at this sucker every day. I mean, it's increasing my dopamine. I want it. I want it. I want it just with the proper planning. So we got to think about now that's the whole idea about instead of raw, raw, how to release that dopamine. So find out what makes you happy. Find out what's safe. Find out what's good. Release that dopamine. Get some pleasure. Get some feel good. I mean, if it's eat some chocolate, if it's RC cars, if it's hike, going hiking, if it's talking to your friends, it's grabbing a drink, uh, your favorite scotch or whiskey or wine. I'm thinking right now in Washington, it's snowing outside. It's cold. I'm just going to open a bottle of wine. Just my feet up and watch Netflix and just chill. And by the way, um, there's a new, if you have HBO Max, if you have AT&T, those out there, including you, Gloria, and if you have AT&T, download HBO Max. They, that, they have a new movie release called Judas. It was interesting last night. It's something I wasn't aware of. It's a documentary kind of, you know, um, true events, I'd say. Watch that with a glass of wine, or in your case, watch it with some chocolate. So I want to say thanks to you guys for listening to another Life's A Shuffle episode, Raw. And thanks, Gloria. I hope you feel better. I hope you um, find out what's going on. See your doctor. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I will. And um, yeah, and that's it. And you know what? And again, thank you to all listeners to for allowing us to um, to share our stories and even just you know our our day to day and our week. Um, yeah, thank you, and thank you for um, listening to another episode of um, Life Say Shuffle. And don't forget those out there, www.lifesashovel.com. You can send us an email and be a special guest. Don't forget to follow our Facebook group called Life's a Shuffle. All right. Stay tuned. See you guys soon. Leave a comment because if you leave a comment, I will share and I'll answer your question on air, on live. Again, thanks for listening to another episode of Life's a Shuffle.